John! I'm sorry about my negativity about all this. Sometimes I'm just so suspicious. Hey, don't worry about it. It's okay. No, no, you should stay here. Dimension. How can I help you? Hi, I'm from Le Tout Petit's Antique, and I... Welcome, Mr. Le Tout. Do you have an appointment? Yes, we scheduled an appointment for me to come to tell you about a precious Nyo carving. Wonderful. Wait one minute, please. Then ring again. Dimension. How can I help you? I'm the guy who rang before, the Neo guy. Welcome. I must apologize. I didn't schedule your appointment properly. However, you have piqued her curiosity. Wait till the gates open and then park in the yard, will you? Are you sure it's him? Yes. Sure. At last. Hi. Please, come in. Here's my card. But there's no information on it. Don't worry. It's not activated yet, Mr... John Yesterday. An appropriate name for an antique dealer, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm a historian, too. Even better, then. What do you specialize in? Satanism and sectarianism in the Middle Ages. No, no way. I just received the first copy of a book about a satanic sect in the Middle Ages. I can't show it to you yet, but it will make people talk. The writer is an American who... By the way, you're an American, aren't you? Yes, from New York. Not a bad place to be an antique dealer. The old world has a rich history, but doesn't seem to appreciate it so much. My beloved London, for example. It 
that has lots of history, but it's often regarded more as a duty than a pleasure. You are absolutely right. However, I always ask myself... Sorry, Mr. Yesterday. We're not here to answer your questions, but mine. Why on earth am I wasting my time with you? Shit! Maybe you've heard I have a Neo by Unke. It's perfect and... Why can't I see it? Oh, sorry. Here are some photos of the sculpture and its authenticity documents. You think of everything. I like you. Please make yourself at home while I examine all this. You'll see the room is full of valuable pieces. Feel free to touch. You are, after all, a colleague. I just received the first copy of a book about a satanic sect in the Middle Ages.
You may remove your blindfolds. Dearest disciples, behold, Santa Brigida's greatest treasure. Where are we, Brother Hinas? Oh, that's none of your business, Brother Yago. It's written in an unknown language, one so rare it could even date back to the days of the Tower of Babel. No one has ever deciphered it, or managed to copy a single character from its alphabet. Come on, who are you speaking of? Blind men and morons? Do you dare to give it a try, Brother Giuseppe? Hey, why does he get to go first? That's not fair. Let's see. I don't understand the thing. These symbols. I... I can't stop. I'm trapped by them. Oh no! My god, what's happening to me? Why? Yago! Yago! Help me! Giuseppe! Do not touch him. There's nothing you can do for him now. No. Put your blindfolds back on. No. I'll take you to your cells. Never speak to anyone about what happened on this night. And remember, you have seen nothing. 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 Say to Ribio? About last night. Nothing happened last night. Nothing! Do you think that Hines knew what was going to happen? You take that back. Father Hines is a saint, not a murderer. Where's the library? I don't know. Come on, you often disappear with Brother Hines. I'm sure that's where he takes you. Of course. Best copyist in the Abbey, and who else would he trust to copy the secret books? And? He always blindfolds me, just like last night. It's better that way. I won't have to resist the temptation of reading heretic texts. When Giuseppe started to bleed, you did nothing to help him. It was the devil's doing. That was Satan's blood. It could have contaminated me. I helped him. Then get away from me! Later, upon returning to my cell, I thought I heard whipping in yours. That's not true. Do you remember that the abbot prohibited self-flagellation? Do you? Why? Why can't a pious man pay for his evil deeds? What evil deed did you perform last night? 
I thought nothing had happened. Go with God. What are you copying? <laughs> A text lacking in righteousness. Hortensius by Cicero. If the book is everything you say it is, why are you copying it? Because that cursed father Ezekiel is contaminating the soul of our dear abbot. He manipulates him with his science and his art to lead him off the righteous path. I wouldn't rule out the use of magic either. But was it not the very same book that led St. Augustine of Hippo to embrace faith? What's that? Oh, yes, yes, but... God can write straight on crooked lines. That does not prove that the book is not impure. Furthermore, St. Augustine was a sinner before he was a saint. Grant me chastity and continence, but not yet, pervert. What do you think happened exactly? Didn't I tell you already? It was the devil's doing. He has possessed that book. I thought the devil specialized in possessing people. Are you really that naive? He can possess the very air you breathe. I heard that about two years ago, in a village far away, the devil possessed a hog so that it would devour the son of a noble. That's amazing. Before you can control the unknown sense, you must first learn to see through the eyes of yesteryear, young disciple. Your mind stores every single detail of everything you've seen. Close your eyes and say goodbye to today. Focus briefly, then open them anew. And yesterday, and yesterday, he's here he's again. Here again. When the Inquisition captured me, you found the dead body of my friend Alonzo, whose recently deceased corpse could pass as my own. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? I believe you have reached your own conclusion. But remember what I always tell you. Chance does not exist. It is Satan's hand. And sometimes it uses our own to achieve its goals. You knew that Giuseppe would die upon reading the book, didn't you? All I had were suspicions, the same as you. You said you appreciate me for my talent with languages. What will happen the day I'm no longer useful? Have you ever seen me do someone harm? Don't fret, although you are the devil's son. How could you ever cease to be useful? Dark times are upon us. Giuseppe's death is only the beginning. Flee Santa Brigida and never look back. And leave Hines behind? He saved me. He gave me a new life. Books. Brothers. I can't do that. Hines wants you to follow Satan's path. But you believe in the righteous God. You must observe the rule of St. Francis. I would, but... I'm afraid I'm prey to the same sin as Brother Hines, the sin that led Adam to eat from the tree of knowledge and condemn mankind. 
I want to know. Not only do you understand languages, you're also aided by demons like that painted old man that sometimes appears before you. If you really want to know who you are, you must first accept this. You are Satan's son. So what do I do? Should I devour a live goat? Sacrifice virgins? Kill myself to return to the hell whence I came? No. I must follow Hines's plan, whatever that may be. I respect you, in spite of it all. It's not easy to observe the rule of St. Francis these days. And why don't you observe it as well? Science, logic, and history bid me otherwise. I feel like neither Giuseppe nor I have been just with you. For that, I apologize. <laughs> I knew you would come to your senses as soon as that Italian devil lost his grip on you. Dead dogs don't bite. You disgust me. You're a clueless, tattletale, brown nose who doesn't understand what he copies. And it's not just the books. It's the rule of St. Francis and all of that meaningless nonsense you observants constantly repeat. I'd rather be a brown nose than end up covered in shit, Brother Yago. And that's exactly how you will end up. Father Hines? My door is always open to you, Brother Yago. I don't understand why you always favor Brother Toribio. You are the better pupil, no doubt. But you'll be better off if you draw a little attention to yourself. On the other hand, commending Brother Toribio helps me win over those he sucks up to. The observance. What do you think of Father Ezekiel? He stands up to the observance and understands the world through reason. So brave and yet so naive. The only reason that governs this world is that of your father, the devil. I do prefer him over that gang of lunatics, no doubt. But I must proceed with caution and not show him too much esteem. By the way, he should be showing me how that printing press of his works sometime soon. Don't you think our abbot is a saint? Oh, no doubt. He has a view of the future and would certainly embrace anything that Father Ezekiel and the like propose. But he knows that without the observance, he would lose his grip over the monastery. That's why he tries to please them. And he's not the only one. I know you're not fond of Father Diego and the other observants. How could I be? Their insistence on returning to the rule of St. Francis is ridiculous. Their idea of poverty makes me laugh. You need money to preserve the knowledge of books and a full stomach to think with clarity. But you pretend to like them. I must. If not, they'd rally against me in my library. They'd find out what I'm hiding sooner or later. 
and they wouldn't like it. What makes you so attached to Ursus? His gratitude. Just as yours bonds me to you. You saved Ursus's life as well? What had he done? Oh, I... I don't even remember. You've forgotten? When the Inquisition wants to execute someone, they don't need an excuse. Who cares? You said you would grant Giuseppe a Christian burial. Have you done so already? Ursus took care of it before the morning prayers. Don't worry about it. I'll pray for him. Don't waste your prayers. Keep them for you and for me. But send them to your father, Satan. Beg him to grant us the ability to read that book. Where were we last night? It's best if you don't know. Why? You are my most prized possession. I don't want to lose you. What if I had read the book? Would you have left me to die? Not in the slightest. I wanted you to see the power of the book. But you're not ready yet. What if Terribio had read the book? That coward. He would never have even tried. I only took him to incriminate him. I was afraid he'd badmouth me to the observance. Now he won't dare. The book has a Y on its cover. What does it mean? I don't know, Brother Yago. My name is Miguel. Yago is only the name you gave me after helping me escape the Inquisition. It starts with a Y. Don't jump to conclusions. Do you know anything about my father? Yes. He rebelled against God and turned into Satan. He stayed in the shadows for centuries, but one day he will rise. I'm talking about my human father, the Duke of Fuentenegra. You don't have a human father. I don't follow. In order to avoid further problems with the Inquisition, the Duke confessed that you weren't his son. Years before, an old man who claimed to be a messenger of the King of Naples spent a night at your father's estate. The next morning, he had disappeared leaving behind all of his belongings. His clothes were lying on the bed, covered in blood. And among the clothes and blood, they found a happy and healthy baby, you. The Duke, who hadn't managed to conceive an heir or bastard, kept quiet and gave you his family name. And no one ever heard from that old man again. It was all the devil's doing, no doubt, an act of your true father. You have denied it countless times, but what if the Inquisition is still looking for me? The plan worked perfectly, Iago. My name is Miguel. Your name is whatever I say it is. Miguel de Fuentenegra was devoured by a diabolical pig in that dungeon three years ago. That's what the Inquisition believes, and I can't think of a better story. Sometimes I dream of returning to Fuentenegra, and... Don't be a fool. What if someone recognized you? As I've said before, I didn't give you a new life for you to throw it away in vain. Your place is here, at least until we decipher that book. When you saved me, you were already master copyist of Santa Brigida. And Fentanegra is more than 20 days away. How did you find out about me? One of my most grateful pupils is now a scribe of the Holy Office. He knows of my commitment to understanding ancient books, unknown languages, and lost knowledge. When the Inquisition set their sights on you, he contacted me. I left immediately and arrived just in time to save you. I feel like I'm wasting my time here in Santa Brigida. Your gift for languages is very useful, and it will be so even more in the future. Well, I've got my own ideas for the future. Speak. You know how much I enjoy ancient mythology. Maybe I could focus on writing about it, like... The fact that I allow you to read certain books does not mean you can flaunt this knowledge. Anyone who speaks of pagan myths will automatically become a target of the Inquisition. Do you wish to go through that again? Or do you have any better ideas? I'd like to follow in Father Ezekiel's footsteps and do something with my hands. I like the forge, to see iron come to life, like Vulcan, the blacksmith deity. Your talent 
lies not in your hands, but in your head. I will not let you put it to waste. Any other ideas? Since I understand all languages, maybe I could be a missionary and evangelize the Americas. What part of I am Satan's son have you not yet understood? Any other ideas? Listen to me. You are the devil's son. There's nothing you can do about it. Make the most of the gift he's given you. But how? His is the book that killed Giuseppe. Perhaps, when you decipher it, we won't have to hide anymore. Then why don't you let me give it a shot? I must first test it on other subjects. I can't risk losing you. I could use a mirror to read the book's reflection, just like Perseus did to avoid turning into stone when looking at Medusa. Oh, nonsense. Mythology is nothing but myths, legends, and lies. But the power of the book is real. You've seen it. If the book is my father's work, why would he kill me? Because the book is not your father. Does it have eyes? Does it know who you are? Can we be sure it will recognize you? Can we know if it has a will of its own? Well, I'm willing to take that risk. I would protect you with my own life. If you want to risk your own, you'll have to do it over my dead body. I... I think I'm not cut out for the priesthood. I'd like to get married. You know, meet a woman and... And? Do you think I'm a virgin? I will give you, not one, but many women, when you reach the priesthood I have planned for you. But let time take its course. What else do you have in mind? Good morning, Father Ezekiel. The day appreciates the epithet, but doesn't deserve it. What happened? Did you know that Queen Isabella is coming tomorrow to see my printing press in action? And in just one hour, I must perform a trial before Brother Hines, here, in this very workshop. No. Nobody ever informs us Razophores. Well, there will be no trial. Somebody stole all my letter E-types. Huh? I won't call for him. He's always so busy, he won't even remember. Maybe you just misplaced the letters. I heard about a condition called Listexia that... I never make mistakes. The letter thief, in all his clumsiness, tore his habit on one of the pins of the printing press. You said they stole all letters except one, right? Yes. One was stuck in the mold and I haven't had the time to pull it out. Here, in case it helps you find the rest. Did you know that sometimes I have the strangest dreams? In fact, I dreamt that I was in a secret library within the monastery. Do you have any idea where that kind of library would be if it were real? Hmm, who knows? Sometimes the Lord uses dreams to remind us of things we don't know we know. Do you have any idea who the thief could be? I only know it's not me. The rest could all be guilty. I don't think it's him, but could it be Father Hines? I doubt it. He supported me all along. Although the printing press would put an end to his privileges as master copyist. So who knows? What about Giuseppe? He's the Abbey's greatest prankster, no doubt. And he's been missing all morning. I'm sure he's up to no good. What if Turibio did it? Hmm, could be. That radical observant disapproves of everything I do, although he is a coward. Would he dare to do something like that? What if this is lay brother Ursus's doing? He would only do such a thing following brother Hines's instructions. Poor Ursus. It's as if someone had removed his free will. What if I did it? Okay. Act like you're confessing. 
Father Ezekiel, I confess, I stole all your letters. <laughs> Brother Yago, you're as bad at acting as you are noble in spirit. I suppose Father Emigio is above all suspicion. It's not easy for our prior. Caught between those radical observants and the knowledge that progress is good for the community. If it was him, rough times await us all. Father Diego can't stand you. Another fanatic. But his excessive observance of the rule of St. Francis has kept him far from the baths since last spring. My workshop would still reek of his nauseating stench. What exactly are those types you say were stolen? They're small metal letters that I place in line. When pressed against the paper, they print the ink. You could try writing without the letter E. I could write an entire book. Oh yeah? Please start. Thank God Almighty for visitors arriving on this day at the Holy Catholic Sanctum that is Santa Brigida. Ha! <laughs> you said the! How did you get Her Majesty to visit the Abbey? Ever since my friend Johannes invented it, the printing press has enchanted nobles and commoners alike, and the Queen is no exception. Being aware of this fact, and after receiving approval from our abbot, I sent her a missive stating that Santa Brigida housed the first printing press in Spain. Now I wish I'd never had the nerve. Why do you want to test it with Father Hines? As master copyist, he must approve quality of all printed materials. But that won't happen now. The meeting is in less than an hour, and I don't have letters E. I won't call for him. He's always so busy, he won't even remember. How did you get a printing press? The inventor, my friend Johannes, sent it to me. I worked with him during my European travels years ago. He was going to send it to Segovia, but I convinced him by saying I would make the most of it, that I would show it to important people, which won't happen tomorrow if the Queen arrives and I print Isabla and Ferdinand, monarchs of Spain. Do you oppose those who practice a strict observance of the rule of St. Francis? Not at all. They are the ones who oppose common sense, which is the tool our good lord gave man's aid in his survival. Diego, Toribio, and all of those loonies want to take us back into the Dark Ages. We're in the 15th century for crying out loud. You are a man of science. Isn't that somehow at odds with faith? Science is the study of divine creation. How could it be at odds with faith? What is at odds with almost everything is human understanding that never manages to grasp the meaning of our good Lord or his creation. That's what science is for, to enlighten our understanding and bring us closer to God. Is Father Hines closer to you or to the observance? It's hard to say. On the one hand, he helps me with my research. On the other, he praises useless fanatics like Toribio. But Father Hines is an intelligent man. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. That is a periscope, invented by my friend Johannes and yours truly. Inside, there are two mirrors that placed at 45 degree angles, allow the user to see without being seen. Unfortunately, one of the mirrors broke several days ago, and I haven't had the time to replace it. Please, take it. And if you manage to fix it, all the better. <laughs>